Hi everyone, welcome back to How Inez Rolls. Today I'm doing something so exciting. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Have you ever heard of the magic light trick? Also, I'm going to be making a super yummy popcorn treat. So stick around, we need to get started. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited to be doing this because I have been wanting to do this for a while. And one of my favorite Instagrammers is Nesting with Grace. She is kind of a more holistic approach, but some really creative DIY and some good style. I mean, really. Well, she does this magic light trick that kind of is all over the place. And it's pretty much getting some kind of sconces, but not hardwiring into the into the wall so you don't have to worry about that and you don't have to worry about a plug because um she uses a uh, a puck light so my friends over at la take uh lighting they sent me some some puck lights and i was like uh thank you i have wanted them for so long so i'm so excited because these lights you can just uh whoa that's bright right so these you can just kind of push on push off which is a lot like some other stores but these come with a remote control. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these puck lights, which you could use underneath, look, underneath a, a cabinet, you could totally do that. And, but I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do with these. Um, so stay tuned. So while I was at, um, if you've watched some of my videos, I did a $5 Goodwill challenge, or it was at Savers. I. Uh, saw some things there that I didn't add into that video, but look what I found. I found two of these and they were $2.50 each. They were half off. And I thought, you know what? This would be something kind of good for when I was thinking about magic light trick. So I went to the dollar store or the Dollar Tree and I got one of these. So my idea is I'm going to paint them. So thank goodness for chalk paint. So the puck lights from um, Light Light Take Lighting, they are going to give me a, a product link. So if you're interested in these puck lights, then the link will be in the description box below. But can you see it? Can you see what I'm going with here? So let me show you what I'm gonna do. Before I get started, I wanted to show you how it came in the mail. Just a few of these. I think they come in a three pack. You can see it comes with some little um, sticky tabs that will be useful if you're using them for underneath your cabinets and the remote control is in here. So each of them do need three batteries, three double A's, which is not a big deal. So I'm just going to put that aside and get started on what I'm doing here. So I am using my trusty off-white um, chalk paint from uh, Walmart and I'm gonna bring you closer and show you what I'm doing. So just using my chalk paint and a dabbing brush, I'm just going to put probably multiple coats because it's dark and I'm just gonna lighten it up. Plus, I'm gonna also paint this glass as well. That's right, I am painting this as well. So you'll get to see it all put together and I'm super excited. So let's get going. is drying I thought I would get a head start on the snack that I'm making for tonight I thought tonight we could watch a movie together as a family so I thought I'll have these ready these sconces are gonna go up and I'll even have a popcorn treat so you get a video a DIY and a snack perfect so all I'm doing is cooking up um, about six cups of popcorn. It could be any flavored if you want more buttery, if you want it light or plain, it's up to you. It's kind of what you have. I had butter popcorn already in the bag, so I'm gonna do that. But if you're gonna do plain popcorn, you're gonna to wanna to remember a little teeny bit of salt because it's already flavored, I don't need to do that. So getting that going, and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put on top of it. So while I have my sconces and my little jar up there, um, drying out, I wanted to tell you the next part of um, the popcorn. It's gonna be so good. So it's cookies and cream popcorn. So we're going to melt down a bag of chocolate chips and we're going to take about mm, 10 to 15 different, uh, um, 10 to 15 Oreos and 
smash them down and then put aside about a half a cup or so because we'll be sprinkling that on top told you it was easy so easy so i'm going to get going on um crushing the oreos and then putting them aside until we're ready to put it all together but in the meantime i wanted to show you some other alternatives in some of these sconces yes i found these at the at a thrift store so feel free to go and take a look at thrift stores because you just never know what you'll find but i went to ikea yesterday and purchased um these as well you can see they are perfect i could just cut the uh, i could have cut the the plug off had Paul screw them into the wall and add the puck light into it. But I think I'm just gonna go with these ones. So I get to take the other ones back, which is not a big deal. So you can see that there are lots of little places and actually those sconces from Ikea were $18. So that's not too bad each. So uh, when you're looking online on Amazon, they can run up to like a hundred bucks each. So you can see if you start doing these magic light tricks, this is awesome, and I'm so glad that Light Take Lighting was able to send me some, and I'm sure if you are loving them, you can get them too. So let me keep going with this and get those Oreos ready. So I just finished the first one. You can see, oh, I love it. I love that it's lightened up. You know, I kind of, I mean, I like black accents because I have a lot in my house, but this is just gonna be a really nice subtle touch to, on the other, on both sides of our entertainment center, and then you put the puck light in. So. This base is a little bit bigger, so it's almost like you have to drop it in a little bit. But look, I don't know if you can see. We're gonna wait till it gets a little bit uh, darker in our home this evening, and then we'll use them. But I'm so excited, and I love that it's like a softer glow because it gets a little dark when we're watching movies, and I like to keep the lights on and half of it, but now I don't have to. So before I show how we're gonna put it all on the wall, I wanted to show you at first I used this and then it didn't adhere. So this was like a Gorilla Glue, a super a super glue. And then Paul suggested that we use his, um, this epoxy. So this one seems to have been working a lot better if you're trying to decide if you're doing this project, you know, how to get something to stick. This seems to be really good. So. Now we're gonna put it on the wall and then I'll finish up the popcorn because now it's more at room temperature so it's ready for me to do my part. So Paul just put these on the wall. I think it looks so great. So my wall color is kind of like an eggshell, light, light blue color. I think, yeah, it's in like an eggshell light blue. And look with my remote. You guys, it's like a little sconce. Well, it is a sconce, but it looks like it's gonna do just fine. So this is so awesome. I can't wait to get started um, when we use them for our movie night. So let's get going on that popcorn. So I just put this in a small saucepan, just the, the bag of the white chocolate chips, and I'm just gonna melt them slowly. And then I'm going to add about my 12 or so um, crushed Oreos in which I took out about a third of a cup. I know I said half, but I think I'm gonna keep about a third out. And I'm just gonna mix this into the white chocolate and pour it all over this yumminess. So I'll bring it closer as I'm getting ready to mix them together. So I made a second batch in a bowl, in a microwave safe bowl. I don't think that my white chocolate, the first one, did well in a pot. On the stove so thank goodness I had another batch of chocolate chips so now we're just going to um, yummy yummy I cannot wait to eat this oh my goodness so you're just going to kind of pour it out and then you're gonna sprinkle some of the um, Oreo bits after you've mixed it all in so we're gonna kind of toss all of this around and try to coat it evenly. All right, here we go. Look how delicious that looks. So I'm just gonna do some extra Oreo crumbs because you just can't have too much of this yumminess. I mean, come on. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Delish. Bam! 
so easy to do. And now it's time to taste test. Let's see, I wanna get a piece that has a little bit of everything. Perfect, it is so good. Mmm. It's time for some movie night and I have the treats. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what I created with Puck Lights with those wonderful wall sconces. And if you like the treat that I have for the movie night, it is just a perfect evening for our family. So thanks for stopping by. Click subscribe if you haven't done so. And thanks to my friends at La Take Lighting for sending me out some of these Puck Lights and allowing me to be creative with them. So thanks for sticking around and watching the video and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Okay, Ezzy, turn them on. Oh, that's perfect. It's pitch perfect too, so we love that movie. So let's get started.